We got to the RV so that we could take it to Ryan's parents. And one of our doodly tires is flat and the other one has way too much pressure in it. So what's happening is we have a flat. Um, so we have a dually tire here and the inside tire is flat for some reason, we don't know. Um, we just came out, we were gonna take it to my parents' house and it was flat. I was testing the air pressure of the tires and this outer tire totally broke my um, pressure gauge because it was so high. And the reason why the pressure in this tire is so high and it's warping down at the bottom is because it's taking all the weight of the rig on this side because the inner tire is not helping in any. So we got the compressor, we got the generator here. Um, we're gonna try to air up the inner tire and see how long it holds air. Um, but we'll have to probably get this into a shop so we can get some new tires on this side. Um, you can even see a little cracking on this one. So that kind of sucks, but I guess that's part of having a used rig. Um, but man, you, you, you feel like you're getting going and then, you know, one step forward, 12 steps back. It kind of sucks sometimes. So hopefully we can have a quick fix and uh, get our home back on the road. It got worse, so as we were um, trying to fill up the tire with air, it started actively leaking air that we can actually hear now. So, take a listen. Oh yeah. The sound of something leaking. So, what our plan is now, because it's Sunday night, we were going to go hang out with his parents. Um, now our plan is to put our jacks down so that our good tire, this one, doesn't burst or blow up or explode. That'd be really scary. Um, and then I guess we're going to have to call AAA because we can't drive it like this. Yay. <laughs> Ryan's about to put the jacks down so that we don't have any bent up rims or exploded tires next time we come. We can't get the leak to stop out of the hose, so that's unfortunate. We think that maybe the leak is coming from the hose and not the tire, which would be awesome. Hey guys, so I'm here at the RV to figure out what's going on with our tire back here. We went ahead and we got, um, Megan's grandpa's uh, generator and then the air compressor to see if we could blow it up, see if, uh, see if we had like a nail in the tire where the air was coming out. And really all that we found was that it was actually coming out straight through the nozzle, um, the air nozzle. We have a few replacement parts of that. We might try to put on a new air nozzle. Um, there's a little tool that you can actually tighten the um, little valve in there. Um, so I'm gonna try that today. And if, if anything, um, we probably just need some new tires. So the tires on this side um, aren't quite as new as our other tires on the dually side. Um, and having good tires with an RV is very important. I'm gonna work on that a little bit today. Hopefully it's a quick fix.
so the little air nozzle was loose um, I went ahead and used this four-way tool to tighten the little um, it's like a little valve in there that gets pressed uh, it's the one that when you press it air comes out so it was a little bit loose I went ahead and tightened it and it seems like the tires holding air um, holding air okay and so I'm gonna give it a little bit see how it does I'm actually gonna take and drop our jacks down um, so then all the weights on the tires to see how they do then under pressure um, and if they do okay then um, I'll probably call the tire shop anyway. On this dually tire, we actually have some wear and tear close down to the rim. Um, and so I'll probably need to work on that a little bit. So um, hopefully we can get that fixed and maybe get some new tires on this back dually. Um, but, it, but we might not have a hole in it. So that's some good news. Well, I just got off the phone with the um, tire guy trying to set up an appointment with him. Um, so just have them look at my tires. Uh, the one tire that we thought was flat is actually holding air right now. So uh, maybe it's okay. Maybe it was just that valve stem, um, which that'd be a relief. Uh, but before we hit the road, I really want to make sure our tires are solid. You know, I don't want the trip to our first travel therapy contract to uh, start out with a blown tire and any damage to our RV that we could put in the shop. So to have good tires is um, really important. I mean, that's how you uh, move our home. So um, hopefully it doesn't cost me too much. Uh, I'm still a poor college student. So all of this is uh, tightly budgeted, uh, all of our renovations. And so hopefully in the future, what we can do is we'll do a video on like how much we've spent on our renovations. We've done um, all the work. This would be the first time um, we would have someone actually do something else. But to change the tires on this, you need a heavy duty uh, jack and uh, it's just too risky for me to try to do that. Now what I'll do is I'm just gonna go around to the other tires, make sure they're nice and aired up, and hopefully um, that means I'd be able to drive Big Betty over to the truck's, truck place. It's about five miles away, so not too far, um, and maybe get some new wheels on her, so that'd be great. 